delighted to have with us here in the office today Dr. Walter Pierpauli, who has done outstanding research in both ageing and cancer and immunity, and is perhaps best known to most people around the world for his work with melatonin. Indeed, uh, many people have bought his books, The Melatonin Miracle and The Key of Life, and uh, some people refer to him as Dr. Melatonin, even though, of course, he's involved in many different research because perhaps he's made himself most famous in this field. So we're going to be very pleased today to be talking a little bit about melatonin with Dr. Pierre Pauli. And if I may, first of all, Doctor, can I, can I ask you to please remind us of the use of melatonin in the body? Melatonin is secreted by the pineal gland <coughs> during the night. It is produced by other tissues, but uh, uh, in the night only the pineal gland. Why it is produced by the pineal gland? It gives a message of the night so to the whole hormonal system, to the pituitary gland, to the, to the hypothalamus, is an inc intricate feedback mechanism. But melatonin uh, being produced by pineal gland only in the night produces a night peak in the healthy young person between 1 and 3 a.m. in the mo early morning when you sleep sound deep sleep, healthy sleep, and will maintain hormonal cyclicity, which is depending on the pineal gland. And the pineal gland is a signal, this is a signal, because in many pathologies there is no night peak of melatonin, which is obvious, because they derive from hormonal derangement. If there is no night peak of melatonin, you are going to develop all kinds of diseases or is expression that you are sick, that you have cancer, you have arteriosclerosis that has been published. Therefore, the night peak of melatonin is important for protecting not the, the pineal gland, for protecting the whole hormonal system from uh, which regulates immunity and all kinds of functions in the body. So, the, it improves our circadian rhythms, our day-night cycle, and how does that help us? How does circadian rhythm, if it's synchronized correctly, how would that help us? It helps us without synchronization, you are dead. Because, of course, every cell, atom, molecule in the body depends on circadian cyclicity. Because the day-night regulation, the intersynchronization of hormone is fundamental for the regulation of everything, including immunity which is totally depending, the lymphocyte, the cells in the body, in the bone marrow, they're all depending on hormonal intersynchronization. I say intersynchronization, not only synchronization, because the hormone has a cyclicity, but they're intersynchronized. It's a fine network of mechanisms which is fundamental for maintenance of all function. And without uh, this protection of the pineal gland, which is producing melatonin, it, uh, the, the orchestra director will give a wrong signal to the hormonal system, to the endocrine glands. The main of it is a pituitary gland, the hypophysis, producing all main hormones. There will be a total upsetting, resulting in the alteration of regulation of immunity and then loss of self-control and emergence of all kinds of diseases including arteriosclerosis and cancer. I see, yes, that's fascinating. So, as I understand it, the pineal is acting as the conductor of the endocrine system, a bit like a conductor of an orchestra. Sure. And the melatonin is protecting the pineal. Protecting and so, the pineal, yes. with the correct circadian rhythms, we have the correct hormonal cyclicity, and with the correct hormonal cyclicity, we have good immunity. And with good immunity, we have protection from diseases. It is hard to, to think about yeah. <laughs> emergence of diseases if you maintain the juvenility of the new neuroendocrine immune system yes. and hormonal interplay, yes. which is regulating all functions. It's hard to believe to the emergence of diseases yes. and even to progression, uh, early progression of aging. I see. So it's, this obviously makes it very fundamental. Yes. And so I suppose I may ask the question, uh, Dr. Pierpaoli, do you recommend, therefore, melatonin supplements for everybody? Yes, of course. It can be from early age, from uh, children, nervous children, sleepless children. I recommend melatonin as a universal general remedy 
for prevention of diseases and of aging at all levels for everybody because it's well known that melatonin uh, is uh, doesn't the the body doesn't produce night melatonin the pineal gland for example in many degenerative diseases and cancer so it means it is really signal for health so the night peak of melatonin so in order to prevent any surprises to avoid surprises as being completely without any side effect even if you swallow eating in spoons <laughs> full spoons will not produce any side effect will be rapidly eliminated but will cover during the night uh, the protect the pineal gland which will go to rest and will have not have to work this is a basic principle and maintain his capacity to regulate the the endocrine system, all other hormonal function mm -hmm. via this uh, system protecting the pineal Thank gland. Thank you. Um, so I suppose, especially in certain countries like the United States, we've seen an explosion of melatonin supplements, including mm -hmm. versions like Time Released mm -hmm. and uh, Sublingual. What's your opinion of these uh, of these supplements? I think it is a mystery to me and a disaster for people because uh, if you take uh, melatonin which is not producing a night peak uh, mm -hmm. as I have explained between 1 and 3 in the early morning uh, melatonin not only will not protect the pineal gland but will disrupt uh, hormonal cyclicity having the opposite effect you may be sleepy but you will not uh, be healthy mm -hmm. again because if you take for a longer time. The sublingual uh, 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 melatonin is, uh, will, not, will be immediately taken into the blood mm -hmm. and will give an early peak and will disrupt hormonal cyclicity because we not produce it during the night. Mm -hmm. If you take a slow release, even worse, because it will give a plateau uh, with, uh, which will maintain artificial high level of melatonin for hours mm -hmm. which is the opposite of what we want mm -hmm. we want a night peak mimicking the physiological night peak of melatonin mm -hmm. and that is what we want to achieve mm -hmm. so i consider that 99.9 percent .9 of melatonin brand in the world are not only as useless but mm -hmm. they are dangerous mm -hmm. oh gosh that's that's uh, fascinating information so Tell us, Dr. Pierre Pauli, how do we achieve this bioidentical response, the same as the, the pineal, the night peak, as you speak of? What kinds of melatonin should we be using? Well, I, in, uh, when I saw after the publication of Melatonin Miracle, they were um, selling, producing and selling so many melatonin in the United States, mainly at the beginning and now also in Europe, I was very worried because it was evident nobody had understood the mineral didn't care about it, provided they could sell it. <coughs> so I have elaborated my own uh, formula, which was done in Zurich, uh, in the company in Switzerland, uh, in 1997. Uh, and uh, we have studied how to produce a formulation of melatonin, which would, pro would give a night release between 1 and 3 a.m. So this the trick was obtained by combining different excipients mm -hmm. which are released with uh, allow the release of melatonin at that time of the night. Mm -hmm. And in addition, I must say, we have done a lot of studies on zinc and immunity. And uh, melatonin is a uh, zinc is a part of 200 enzymes. <laughs> 200 enzymes in the body depend on zinc. When you age, your zinc is lowering. You can eat as much as you want, it's not taken up. Melatonin will normalize the level of zinc during aging. By adding melatonin, zinc to melatonin, you have a bomb, a biological bomb for the protection of the body from immunosenescence, mm -hmm. for example. And so we, I think that this combination zinc and selenium is really the key for maintaining health. Thank you. I know as a pharmacist that we have many people who use melatonins and a lot of them don't get the experiences that they're looking for. 
and I tell them not to give up. I tell them you have to try Dr. Pierre Pauli's brands, which by the way are known as Melatonin ZNSE and also as MZS. This is the, these are the brands that you formulated yourselves and that you're speaking of. And I know from my experience that these patients come back and they, they thank us for trying uh, your melatonins because they do get the results. So we do appreciate all the work that you've done. May I ask you as a final question, Dr. Pierre Pauli, what, what's your opinion? What's the future of melatonin? Well, if I can see, if I can see from my patients uh, taking melatonin and from uh, uh, over centenarians, uh, even in my family, and some patients over 100, I can see that without melatonin, they wouldn't be there. And so um, the, the emergency of the of melatonin in this planet uh, has taken by surprise uh, not only the doctor, not at all, but the basic scientist, uh, the scientist working in the field was taken, was a great surprise. And uh, then uh, there was a wave of opposition, of denigration, of mystification. At the end, it had generated enormous confusion about the significance of melatonin. This is more a political issue. It's only a political issue. It's not a scientific issue. It's not a medical issue. So I think a melat the future of melatonin, you asked, <laughs> that, to, that everybody should take melatonin, but the right one. I'm not making promotion of melatonin, simply I, I am a doctor and I would like to protect everybody who wants to take melatonin. And then I think better they start earlier than later, okay. when they have already diseases re related to aging or high aging. Yes. Thank you very much. I certainly look forward to the day when melatonin is as well known as aspirin. Thanks so much for your time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.